Hi all, welcome to Anjan GCP Data Engineering. In this video, we will focus on so how to analyze Google Cloud platform usage cost using a BigQuery. Okay. So as a Google Cloud platform user, everybody is interested to know their usage cost, right? So in this video, we will focus on um, this particular use case where um, uh, we'll try to examine a different ways to export billing data right um, uh, into BigQuery uh, using different methods and by using SQL we'll try to analyze the data and also if time permits we'll also try to see right how this uh, Looker Studio so earlier it was like Data Studio uh, now they are calling it as a Looker Studio uh, to build some dashboards and reports uh, for for better visualization, right? And we do have a extensive documentation available uh, in the Google Cloud uh, platform official documentation. Okay, just go go there and uh, search for this um, uh, billing export using BigQuery, and then uh, you will get that documentation, right? And and we have queries for each and every use case also. Okay, okay. Coming to the demo, so in the demo, we'll try to focus on um, this section first and. Um, if we go to that billing, uh, that API, right? So on the Google Cloud platform, right? S there we have an option to export the data directly into the BigQuery, right? Uh, and also there is another method to do that. That is, we can also use BigQuery transfer service. So where um, this particular billing data uh, will be will be act as a source, and then using the transfer service, will will export the data into a BigQuery data set. Okay. So using SQL, you will analyze the data and uh, for better visualization, uh, we'll try to leverage uh, Looker Studio, right? Uh, then, uh, yeah, we'll conclude this demo. So here, click on product overview section, right? Um, here, if you see, there is a uh, tab called billing, right? So click on that. So this will take you to that, that billing module. So now here, if you go to the uh, this tab right left side left side tab so here you can see this option billing export okay so just click on that then uh, so you can see all these options right now uh, I don't have any export enabled right so if you set up that export configuration over here it is a simple configuration to do that so you don't have to spend too much time so then uh, data will be exported into a specified uh, BigQuery data set, okay? So, but not immediately, it will take some time. So uh, for the demo purpose, I've already done that, right? So, so in this data set, I've already exported the data using the same method. So it has exported uh, two tables actually. So, right, so this is the standard naming convention they follow. So now uh, these two tables uh, has the billing data inside it. So we are going to query these two tables and we'll try to find some insights, okay? We'll try to enable our exports, okay? So, okay, edit settings, okay? Just it will, it, just it will ask you, okay, the data set to provide, right? So uh, I've already exported data to analysis, right, for our demo purpose, but uh, for this demo, let me select the different data set, okay? Just click on save, so, right? So this is one part, right? So this will basically try to export very basic data, right? And uh, if you want in detail data, like service wise, right? And uh, uh, then there is one more option to export the detailed usage cost. This is standard usage cost. This is detailed usage cost. So click on edit setting again. So again, same thing specify the data set name this will be building and click on save okay so that it will export these two tables one is standard right and on, and the other one is the detail and there is one more data is also available so so you can also enable that but for our analysis purpose what i feel uh, these two tables are more than enough so we will focus on these two tables only if you are interested you can explore this okay Right uh, now it has been enabled. So what it will do? Go to BigQuery again. So it will export the data into this data set as per the documentation. Right. 
so them clearly mentioned it will take 48 uh, 48 hours for some tables 24 hours for some some tables uh, right a uh, few hours for some tables okay so we'll have to wait till that time that's why i've already uh, exported this data into a different data set so these two da uh, tables look like this so one is uh, the standard data and another one is this is the standard and this is the resource wise that means detailed data first of all this is our standard uh, table right uh, that is um, uh, right it will have all the uh, details right so we'll try to examine the plain data right like what is the invoice mind and um, what is the service right and also start time end time of the service right and also location cost currency usage and everything and also amount okay so what is the uh, actual amount and what is the credit amount credit means if you have any off they will credit that amount back to your account okay so those are called credits right it can be anything there are so many uh, uh, promotion programs going on so for each of that program they will uh, credit this amount back to your account okay so now uh, just examine this query and execute it and uh, let's see how it look like this is from the standard table okay you can see this is invoice month and uh, service okay so i have different services compute engine cloud storage right there are 4413 uh, rows uh, you can see examine all this so when that uh, service start time when when is that service in time and name of the project okay and region and then cost this is the actual cost okay uh, and then the currency right so uh, indian rupees right so and the amount uh, since it is a google cloud storage so it will be measured in bytes okay if it is a compute and uh, the metric will be different in that case okay so you can see this if you see the credit full name free trial right so like that we will have different programs so so those those details will be displayed over here okay so this is a plain data right right so now we'll try to okay uh, run uh, the second query that is i am i'm trying to find total cost for the month right invoice month right so for that you can run this query so now you can see this is a cost okay so exact means so what it is doing just truncating right or trimming the extra digit there is no difference right between total and total exact so total exact uh, will have a truncated value okay right so next one uh, now what i here this is the actual cost but here i will also include the uh, credits right so that means you have to um, sum up the credits with the actual amount so that you will get the uh, exact cost right uh, incurred to your account okay uh, per invoice month okay now you can see this is the exact uh, value see, okay the next thing uh, right so here so i would like to see this cost based on the service okay group by service so uh, this is without credits so now you can see so this is a service okay this is a cost exact cost okay pertaining to that service cloud sql bigquery networking cloud composure right cloud pubserve so for every service you can see some cost okay now if you include if you try to include the credits right then the values will be different okay so definitely you can you are finding some insight right so once you know the cost um, against each and every service then you will find a ways to control that cost save some cost right so by uh, practicing uh, the guidelines given by google cloud platform right uh, that means the best practices you will follow right so run this now you can see for everything there is zero okay so yeah now um, this is from the uh, so far we have seen uh, the queries which are uh, getting executed on our uh, standard table so this is in detail table so if you would like to see a cost against a specific service that is kubernetes engine for example let's say you can use this query right so execute this 
so now you can see so this is a costing curve right uh, when you use uh, your uh, kubernetes engine right so this is what you can see so like that there are so many queries available so you can play with those queries and uh, tables and uh, uh, write your own queries to uh, right find some better insights right so now what we will do we'll try to build some simple docker um, studio report or dashboard okay using this simple query okay so i would like to build dashboard for this service uh, service wise cost okay so run this query okay so here and click on explore data and here you you will get three options explore with sheets explore with looker studio explore with collab notebook so let us use this looker studio now okay so initially it will just get the data whatever it, it you have over here displayed over here so you will get the data so it will just uh, show that data in default um, dashboards right so what we will do we'll try to change the dimensions and metrics so that you will see uh, some good insights right so here what i'll do for dimensions what i can select i will select service okay and uh, okay uh, for metric right so let me select the cost so that is total exact okay so now you can see if you here also it is now getting uh, it is displaying total record counts uh, uh, per invoice month so we we have to change that right so go to metric instead of record count just select total exact okay that's it so you can see for the month of january 2023 so this is the total cost and here we have different option to display your data right so so based on your convenient and your requirement you can use the type of charts whether it can be a bar chart or pie chart so right and there are so many options available just explore this as well you can see uh, service wise okay uh, cost over here okay so cloud sql networking compute engine like that we have different services you can see here this is overall count uh, per invoice month okay so now save and publish okay okay see see this is how it look like so you can change the name of the report it's up to you right so this is how it look like okay so this is simple bar chart and this is overall count so i hope it will help you so you can um, explore this option as well okay so like this uh, you can export the data from right billing account to a bigquery data set and analyze the data using sql and as well your data studio okay and also i told you you can export the data using bigquery data transfer service as well but uh, what is happening right i have tried that already but the problem is uh, i have waited for 2 to 3 days so i don't see any data right so this is the data set I mentioned as a target data set for my transfer but i don't see any data right but anyway i would like to show that how you can do that right so and by the way uh, what is the bigquery transfer and every I have a video on that in our channel already so go there and type like bigquery transfer service and uh, just go through that video uh, you will you will get a good idea okay so here what you can do uh, so if your BigQuery transfer service API is not enabled, first time it will ask you to enable. So once you enable it, then you will get this option. Okay. So here, once you click on this data transfer, you will get this page and then click on create transfer. Okay. So here you will have to select the source. There are there are different source available. You will have to select cloud billing pricing. Okay. Select that and it will ask you to give the name okay uh, now it will ask you to even because this is a schedule query kind of thing right so you will have to mention the schedule as well right uh, daily ones or weekly ones right so based on your requirement uh, maybe i would prefer weekly ones and uh, it will ask you to select the days as well maybe as per your convenient or your requirement you can you can select the 
base for session setting this is very important you will have to mention the destination data set in the bigquery so and then billing accounts if you may if you want uh, this data to be exported from only specific billing account you can mention that billing account name so if you want uh, this data from all the billing accounts you don't have to mention anything so i don't i didn't mention anything so so since i have only one billing account okay so click on save now it will save this configuration data transfer configuration and it should ideally it should export the data into your specified data set so it, it will take some time but uh, it should export so this is one more way to export the data right that is billing data into bigquery i hope uh, it is clear okay and this will help you okay so that's it for this video we will uh, meet in the next video okay thank you